Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I got another message and also in the description, I'm going to put uh, Steve Fletcher's videos. He did something about um, Obama's red wedding that he joked about and he explained what that is. And then also Obama's image exhibit just opened up today. Okay, guys. And um, don't falter me on dates. I try to get out of them. I really do. Guys, today I tried to get out of a date. I really did. And then the Lord just went like this. He's giving the dates for a reason, guys. And I think he's testing his people. So I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, but this video kind of seemed like an instruction manual. Um, it's hard to explain. I don't know. I'm just going to read the message and you guys can figure it out. I'm no longer going to interpret what his messages mean because Satan just ran with that one. So... I'm going to do my best. <clears throat> okay. He gave me Ephesians 2.14. For he himself is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation. Genesis 25.8. Then Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age and an old man and full of years and was gathered to his people. Genesis 42.6. Now Joseph was governor over the land and it was he who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed down before him with their faces to the earth. Genesis 25, 9. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, which is before Mamre in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar, they died. Philippians 3, 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. And here's the message, guys. I love you, my children. You mock me and I still love you. Why do you hate your neighbor? You are called to love your neighbor, to help your neighbor. Why do you hate me? Haven't I given up everything for you? Have you given up everything for me? The charade continues. You mock me and you bow down to Satan, the deceiver of all lies. Do you know he is full of pride and jealousy and he truly hates you? All he wants is your soul and he will stop at nothing to get it. There's no love in his heart, just evil mockery and jealousy. His pride made him fall and now he wants you to fall too. He will stop at nothing nothing until he tries to deceive the whole world. I am God. I am holy and there is no darkness in me at all. You need to test all spirits or you will be deceived. Search for wisdom. Read my word. Seek me. Pray to me and ask me for discernment. Do not take man's word. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. He will give you truths. Why do you chase after this world? Why do you idolize people in this world? They will fade away with it. My hour is here. My judgment is here. All my warnings are final. Oh, how I wish you would change your minds and give me your heart. What do you think these warnings have been about? I'm trying to save you before it's too late. I wish for none of my children to perish. I plead, I beg, and then I will destroy. So many people will die, not just with war, but with natural disasters, famines, and pestilence. Do you know I created everything on this earth, yet you still question my existence? I told you not all meets the eye. I know everyone's heart. Some of you lack love and empathy, and some of you are full of hate and unforgiving. If you can't forgive your brother, then I can't forgive you. And some of you cling to this world like it's your God. God, but I'm your God. I created you. You cannot the love the world and me. Some of you are so filled with arrogance and pride and are ready to scoff at your neighbor. I do nothing without really revealing my plans to my prophets, my dreamers, my visionaries, and my children with words of knowledge. Do not be jealous of someone's spiritual gift. I have no favorites. I have designed everything according to my purpose and my will. My door is closing. You need to get your hearts right because this could be your last hour. Did you pass my test? Did you come to your neighbor with love and correction? Or did you come as the accuser? You know who else is the accuser? Accuser? Satan. Have you mocked them or judged them? Remember, those that you judge, you too will be judged by. Do you call them a liar or a false prophet? Have you searched the scriptures? Did you lean on the Spirit's understanding or understanding of man? Obama is going to rise on February 15th. Do not mock my dates. They aren't for my prophets, visionaries, dreamers, and my people with words of knowledge. They're for me. There's reasons why I give them these dates. We're at the end of the age when the apostles were there. Or 
Were we, I'm sorry, were we at the end of the age when the apostles were there? No, we are close to the end now. I will be coming back like a lion. My word is true. Everything I have said will come to pass. My prophets are obedient to my words and they speak what I tell them to speak. Everything will fall into place according to my will. Watch for darkness. It's coming after. Watch the moon. You will see a halo around it. Watch for a worldwide blackout and an EMP. It will happen. My people pray to me and I hear them. They love love me and I feel it. They are tired and weary and ready to go home. It will be soon. I am ready to call them home. If the man knew the robber was going to break in the home, would he have been prepared? I have, I have given you chance after chance and so many warnings. Are you heeding the warnings? Are your lamps filled with oil? Take this warning seriously. It could be your last chance. Not everyone will be called up. Only a few are chosen. The gate is very narrow and few ever find it. Do you love this world? Do you idolize things in this world? Is fame and money your God? It's harder for a rich person to enter into heaven than a camel through an eye of a needle. Are you awake yet? Do you see what the enemy is planning and preparing for? Have you seen the deception yet? Are there really aliens and UFOs? Fallen angels and Nephilims will be walking on this earth. CERN has opened up the portal and soon evil will commence all over the world. Satan will have free reign once my children and elect are gone. They have endured to the end. I will give them rest and wipe every tear. My children, the door is still open. Confess your sins to me and I will forgive you. I love you and I wish for no one to perish. I am your Messiah and I have spoken. Then he gave me Leviticus 2.11. No grain offering which you bring to the Lord shall be made with leaven for you shall burn no leaven nor any honey and offering to the Lord made by fire. And then he gave me Zechariah 1.14. So the angel who spoke with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am zealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with great zeal. Joshua 2.9. And said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of you has fallen on us, that all the inhabitants of the land are faint-hearted because of you. Lamentations 3.12. He has bent his bow and set me up as a target for the arrow. Lamentations 3.14. I have become the ridicule of all my people, their taunting song of the day. Jeremiah 21 5 I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm even in anger and fury and great wrath Matthew 27 4 saying I have sinned by betraying innocent blood and they said what is that to us you see to it Habakkuk 1 5 look among the nations and watch be utterly astounded for I will work a work your days which you would not believe though it were told you all right, guys, I'm going to stop there and then I'll do part two because this is long. So, all right. And guys, if you don't know Jesus, just ask him to come into your life. Ask him to forgive you, repent from your sins, you know, change your mind about not believing in Jesus and come to him, guys. He will forgive you. And um, guys, listen to his words because he would not not let me post that February 15th thing today. So I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if it's test I don't know, guys. I'm just being obedient. And the more you guys come at me, you know, with mockery and all that stuff, you know, you just upset God more and more. He listens. He hears everything. He's God. And I would not lie about this, guys. I'm literally not gaining anything. Okay. Uh, look for part two. Thanks.